finished you, man. You oh, could have at least I looked at the slow. That's ADHD moment right there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on to the next episode. I know, I need to get a diagnosis. Like, dead ass. Once I get go. insurance, I'm going to go get a diagnosis for this ADHD. Is... This is a member of the Dark Angels chapter named Cypher. We have no idea whose side he is on. The Crimson Path. The so we don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. Yes, because he helps all kinds of people. He just kind of shows up and then leaves before the oh. other Dark Angels can try and murder him. So basically kind of like an anti-hero. Or... Well, I, there's not enough information about him to know what exactly his plan is. Uh, as far as I know. Is, all, all that is known about Cypher is it's not one person, it's more like a title oh, more yeah. than anything. There's keep... been multiple throughout the years. It's just, it's, it's a title, so it's it was, a different person every time. Yeah, it was originally uh, a title held by one of the the Dark Angels chapter. The, the one thing you have to know about the Dark Angels, Chrono, is that half of them turned traitor and half of them were loyalists. So nowadays the Dark Angels do everything they can to hunt down what they call their big dark secret. They hunt down all remaining traitors of the Dark Angels chapter. Oh, okay. The sadly well, the only they're... reason they become... So they're mm. there for their own purposes, basically. Yeah. Isn't there another they're... sect called the Blood Angels? That's Sangui That's under Sanguinius. The Dark Angels are under Lionel Johnson. Uh, they're completely different. They are not attached in the slightest. Really into this yeah, you kind of cut off on me, so I didn't hear all that. Okay, so there I are two different... Listening. These are from... <laughs> <laughs> they're from two different Primarchs. Oh, okay. I just got to the Blood on. Angels have Sanguinius, the Angel Boy. One of my favorite. Mm -hmm. And the Dark Angels have Lionel Johnson, also known as the Lion. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So not Lionel Richie. Okay. <laughs> Funny enough, Lionel Johnson is based off a poet whose name is Lionel Johnson. Oh, okay. That's cool. So I don't think I can. <laughs> Birds, well, I mm. suppose once so the Primarchs are the... Uh, they are like the sons leader. of... They are the sons of the Emperor. Okay. They're basically like the leaders of each faction. They're... Uh, originally there were... Tw I I explained this. I explained this and you didn't pay attention. I'm just trying to make, make sense of it all. Oh, no, basically, no. basically, there are 20 Primarchs. And each one has yeah. had a Space Marine Legion under them. And after the thing called the Horus Heresy... They split up the legions into smaller groups who sometimes split into other groups who gain membership and do other things. There's so many chapters now that some aren't even sure where their progenitor is from. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. So I was thinking the Primarchs were just like the leaders of each uh, chapter. They're basically legion demigods. Or... Yeah, you're, yeah, well, you're not Ron. They are, they essentially are the leaders of each of the, uh, legions yeah. of the 20 legions oh, okay. that ended up breaking up into smaller chapters yeah okay and they, so i was just trying to make sense of it and they get the <laughs> gene seed and the stuff in order to become a space marine their genes are related to their primarch which means they'll sometimes okay. game gain either looks and abilities and attitudes of their primarch oh, okay okay gotcha. <laughs> what the hell yeah he's squealing over his plan for some reason I don't know why, but Cypher always has a chain sword on his back. Oh, oh yeah, that's the, ominous. <laughs> yeah, the Inqu No, the Inquisition is here now, and they're looking for heretics. But they're not allowed to spill the blood of Holy Terror. So they're going to burn everything. Oh no. You knew what they were gonna do, Fable. I knew, I know, I know, that's why I'm that's why I'm not disappointed. I'm just So you're seriously going so to So they're going to commit very much war crimes. 
Well, that Oops All War Crimes is actually probably the motto of the Marine's Malevolence chapter. <laughs> Oops All War Crimes. I think I oh, commit yeah. many more crimes. Most populated planet in the universe. Yes, this is the most populated planet in the universe, and trying to find out. No household shall be left huh. unchecked, and no person shall go on a quest. Well, if you say so. It's not like you care much for your reputation anyway. Wait. What are you dusty my cheeks doing now? <laughs> oh great. Oh boy. Oh dear. Well, I hope you do it. Time for them. He's dead. Time for the mechanicus to get a new fabricator general, I guess. Realize that Terra is the most densely populated and overall planet in the Imperium. It'll take decades to interrogate every single individual on this planet. Do not doubt us. This is what we are the best at. <laughs> we will scan the entirety of Terra and its people in but a few days. This sounds highly fucking illegal! <laughs> He's not wrong, and he's the leader of the fucking. <laughs> I call him. I just like how he sounds. Just like. Oh, I don't so... know. Big so... chief Van Dyke never had to deal with this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Enemy, we should make him my lord of terror again. <laughs> he's dead. The hellfire you've been exposed to, exterminating every planet you come across, must have fried your perception. Do you even realize how hard it is to mobilize on one of these high worlds? It's really damn hard. I guess you don't realize, since you sit on that mobility scooter all day. No. Well, you'll have more scoopies. <laughs> I feel like a comeback Chrono would make. Shut up, you old trash bags. Well, but yeah, I just lo I do love the High Lords with their stupid bullshit. Calm itself, I shall start to At least remember to expect the rulings of Terra, Theodore. Not a single drop of blood shall fall you know. on these sacred grounds. When you have found your suspects, Least you the decency of taking them far away from Terra if your eagerness is You know that how planet. what they're going to yes, do, yes, Rona. Er, you have my promise. Soldiers, the search has begun. But take heed. Not a single citizen of Terra shall have his or her blood spilled on these sacred grounds. So, remember. Only to burn. Yep. Fable saw it coming Terror. and so did I. <laughs> mm, my god. <laughs> really? Come on, the Necrosilphos are made a threat. Just because the Blood Angels teamed up with them at once doesn't mean they're the Imperium's allies or anything. But yeah, they're basically Terminators, Chrono. With a lot of old tech, which can... Their weapons basically disintegrate you, and then they suck up your soul and use it to power them. Okay. Maybe it is kind of funny. Mm -hmm. No, you're incapable of finding <laughs> things funny because you God are damn it. Alright, I forgot. Okay, what was I? Oh yes! So the Blood Angels and the Necrons defeated the Valterians together, and afterwards they went their yeah. separate ways, as the Blood Angels and the Necrons were both tired from the big battle. And Commander Dante thought it was distasteful to turn on the Necrons. I actually do like Commander Dante. The, were tired. the Blood Angels found something distasteful. I'd like to laugh more, but that might break my fragile funny bone. He has a very interesting design. <laughs> but Commander Dante is the chapter master of the Blood Angels. Uh, why are you throwing shit at me? Anyway. <laughs> and, and he's been alive for the last thousand years, and every and there's a meme. That says he wants to die, but the thing is, in the book, he literally wants to die because he is so tired. But everyone literally tells him there's still much work for you to do, and he just sighs and continues to work because everyone believes in him. Yeah, he's That's basically so <laughs> he's basically the pinnacle of what he believes a, a blood angel should be. He's basically trying to hold up the representation Sanguinius, their Primarch, wanted them to be like. Which, he's not wrong. That's why he's kind of required to keep going. <laughs> yeah, also the fact that Dante is actually... Um, a lot of the a lot of main characters have, like, 
sto- have like legends and uh, tales in their own right. Mm-hmm. Dante, like Max said, is the pinnacle because he's literally met so many of the big players in the story. Everyone thinks he's kind of like a main character at this point, which is not wrong. And funny enough, I mean, named characters also get their own models sometimes, which yeah, Commander Dante right. has two. Damn. Anyway, I was under Funny the enough, I did hear something funny from another YouTuber while watching a video that apparently when you buy stuff, buy like minis off of the GW website, sometimes they just send you more shit on a. Like, uh. <laughs> they just send you random more stuff, which that isn't a bad thing. <laughs> Like, one time someone ordered, like, the old Commander Dante uh, miniature. They got the new version yeah. that hadn't even been announced yet. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, basically, what GW did to, like, okay, fuck it. We'll just say we are releasing it and use the pictures that the guy took of it <laughs> as representation <laughs> for it. That Necrons were tireless, solely Damn. skeleton robots with no personality nor care for anything. What the fuck happened? Believe me, my lord, I think we all were under the impression until we heard about the Blood Angels and the current alive sort of thing. Before they yeah. just their sign coming out on planets and expectantly and killing anything that lives, yeah. having yeah. a singular goal in mind, which was to seal off the um, the, the Necrons are very scary. I bet. Because they can be because suddenly you can hear the ground quake from under you and realize, oh, I'm on a tomb world. And suddenly there's Necrons everywhere. What I would do if I was a solar skeleton robot. Oh. That and slow walk around intimidatingly. Yes. It reminds me oh, of that no. hollow that I watched a few millennia back. Da 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 da. Now we're still essentially the same, but now it has become apparent that the Catan were actually somehow shattered into pieces a long time ago. Yeah, the Catan the, the Necrons originally took out the Catan for basically controlling them. And broke them into shards that can be controllable by the Necrons. But it's still terrifying when one of them gets released. Because, let's say, like, the Nightbringer, the Catan, got released. And he's the concept of death and dying. Oh, oh shit. Or, or the Void Dragon, who has, who's the concept of Oblivion. Oh, shit. Yeah, don't worry, the Void Dragon is trapped on Mars. It's okay. I mean, his biggest shard is, but... Oh, and the Friars apparently are not a thing anymore. No idea where they went off to. They just sort of... up the sticks and left, I guess. Well, how does it feel having less emotion than a creepy fucking skeleton robot? It feels mm. fantastic not being on the same primitive level as a filthy Xeno, my lord. I guess you can put it in that way as well. Anyway, I'm intrigued by the idea of those shards. I will have uh, to ask the remaining Alpha Marines to get one for me when they he, get back. He already did this before where he had a Gatan shard. We're not sure how he got Just it. Not but... a shard of that punk ass fan god, the deceit. The description oh. you gave reminds me too much of that mysterious, tentacle headed, metallic jerk who came by every Saturday night to play Paradox Billiards, Boss Troy, and Roulette Fourth Dimensional Hypercube Chess Strip Poker with me, Zinch. And Chego Rap in the webway a few millennia ago. <laughs> Although, to be fair, at least he wasn't as much of a douchebag as that fat guy with the cigar who showed up with Tzinch that one time. I'm not sure the exact people he's making references to, but the Deceiver is another Gatan who's literally the concept of lies, deception, and whatnot. He's apparently the one of the weakest of the Gatan, but he's still a star god, so... <laughs> I'm the motherfucking emperor. I'm allowed a day off once in a while. I'm the motherfucking Besides, emperor. I'm the best fucking multitasker in the galaxy. Oh, so yeah. Of course, my lord. So far, I have to say that I'm not impressed. These necrons do not sound as much of a threat as those hungry space cockroaches. Yeah, uh, cockroaches. Still more of a threat than you might think. <laughs> Which actually reminds me of a story I need to tell you that will surely refurbish your pride in your angels of death. Good luck oh. with that. <laughs> See, during year 912, the Necron okay. Lord of the Tomb of Walsons got really mad because Necrons of another empire started to expand in his territory. In response to this, the Necron mm-hmm. Lord suddenly revealed a massive planet sized space. Oh, yeah, the world engine! That actually. Oh, yeah. The world engine actually had a Catan shard as its base. Huh. 
It's basically a giant world machine that just destroyed everything in its path. Oh shit. It's so basically a world ending machine. Yeah, basically think of a thing the size of a, I believe it was the size of a planet, just breaking through planets. Jesus Christ, mate. And yeah, a whole lot of space marines got involved because of what happened. A giant skeleton space robot planet that shoots molecule breaking beams and destroys everything <laughs> it spots. I yeah. want one. <laughs> I want one. Friday, <laughs> you can't have one. I would not allow this. What if I said pretty please? No! Oh my god, Friday. What about pretty please with cherries on top? No! <laughs> what, what if I gave you about tree fitty? Tree <laughs> fitty. Oh my god. 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 But yeah, I had a void shield and everything. Damn. Yeah. I guess no one knows what retreating is in this fucking imperial nowadays. <laughs> no, no. They really no. don't. <laughs> they really don't. Uh, the commissars will literally execute anyone for retreating for uh, cowardice. Yeah, the concept of retreat is apparently seen as a war crime in this world, and it's just like, why? I just, the I just hell? like the emperor's reactions to everything. Yeah, <laughs> I'll point that out now. It's so freaking hilarious. Everyone does because I never made anything called astral knights. Yeah, the <laughs> made anything called astral knights. You see, all of the astral knights decided to ram their spaceship, the battle barge, and test us straight into the world ending's void shield. Fucking damn! <laughs> why do you assholes keep <laughs> wasting precious battleships? <laughs> Yeah, that was actually really smart. The kneecap and call me a fucking skeleton. That is actually a Slap me on the kneecap and call me a fucking skeleton. The thing is, the thing is, no one knows exactly why they had to completely, uh, like, kill off an entire uh, chapter. But for some reason, uh, GW just decided to destroy the Astro. The Astro Knights for some reason. But I will admit, this is a pretty damn good send off for them. Yeah. I mean, literally taking on a world, well, a galaxy ending threat, literally ramming your giant ship in, sending all your troops in, and destroying it from the inside so everyone can get one last shot and destroy it. I mean, in a sense, that's kind of how they destroyed the Death Star in Star oh, Wars, too. Oh my god, I didn't realize. The, the, uh, the Mechanicus took bits from the world engine. Oh shit. Holding statues of the 772 astral knights had sacrificed themselves to bring down the world engine. Sorry, I was totally mistaken. I totally remember that I did make the astral knights now. They were one of the uh. secret legions I made before the Great Crusade that I never <laughs> told anyone about. They were the best around. Nothing was ever done to keep them down. God damn it. Right. Oh my god. Yeah. Also, on the previous dead. subject matter. I have to say that I kind of like that one Necron, that human, oh, yeah. trashy the incontinent or something. Is an it's <laughs> trashy the incontinent. <laughs> his real that's, name. That's my street name. His real name is Teclis the Inf the Infinite. Basically, what he does is he collects. <laughs> he has a giant museum where he collects all kinds of things, including people, and just keeps them in stasis. Yes. That makes sense. And, and what's really funny is uh, in his book. I think it's in the same book. Uh, it's called The Divine and the Infinite. Apparently, he has a rival who he spent, I want to say, over like a hundred or something thousand years trying to break into his home just to shoot him in the face, not say anything, and leave. <laughs> and his rival Damn. wasn't, and his rival was just like, he wasn't even mad. He literally just cleaned up his face and didn't do anything. It was just like, you two are stupid, and I love both of you. <laughs> yeah, he, there is this one time uh, he locked an Inquisitor in, like, a hypercube dungeon thing. because He also thanked her because she sent a bunch of troops of catacans into him, and he wrote a letter to her thank you for resupplying and giving him new uh, exhibits. 
basically. Mm. Yeah. Uh, also, in the same book, by the way, um, him and his rival have like an epic battle where the description is like they're like they're um thinking uh they're thinking like 500 moves ahead of each other <laughs> while also killing each other. But the but the writer tries to explain that. If these two people were normal old men, they'd just be hitting each other on the head with sticks. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, like, it's really funny because like the description is just like while well, one kills the other and completely changes places or turns back time to avoid the deadly hit. Also, you gotta imagine just two old dudes hitting each other on the head. That's yeah, it. because they're so evenly matched or yeah. something like that. More, yeah, they're both yeah. evenly matched and they're both old. Also, very, very old. also <laughs> Teclis oh. has this strange ability oh. to be able to uh, take control of any Necron's body that he wants. Yeah. yeah. Trades in the evidence. Fucking custard. I said Teclis. Anyway, damn. Even if he is an alien being, I cannot deny that the idea of stealing incredibly valuable objects from all around the galaxy only to put them in a massive skeleton robot space museum is a great one. <laughs> the British, oh no. <laughs> The funny thing is, sometimes he just goes tomb robbing. <laughs> like, quite literally, he just finds, he's like, yes, this one piece from this empire ancient years ago, and I'm the only one who got it. The thing about him, though, that's so interesting, is the only reason he's doing it is because he generally wants to, um, like, he wants to preserve the galaxy and all of its wonders, but he also one day wants to open the museum to show it off to the world, like to the entire universe when things yeah. calm down. That's yeah. his actual uh, goal, and it's kind of like, it's... why is that so wholesome when the fact that you steal large legions of actual people and put them in stasis? Funny enough, what is some, wrong with you? some of them aren't conscious in stasis or aware of where they are. Some are, as a, at as to set an example for others. But as a historian myself, I kind of this makes me honestly like him. There's also, uh, he does actually have a, uh, he has a mechanic in Priest that he uses to study the, like, to study the Tyranids, and he says, he actually asked him when he, when he, like, uh, took him out of stasis, he says, can you leave my consciousness, uh, active so I can think about and compliment, like, think about stuff. He's like, if I did that, you would go mad and I need you for stuff, so no. He's like, are you sure? I can think of a lot of stuff, but he's just like, yes, no. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> think of, like, so many things. Like, he's so stupid. Uh. Absolutely hilarious. At some point, we should send some marines there to steal all his shit just to. <laughs> I think I know a group of space marines capable of just that. Do you now? Oh. Do tell. Well. Now, who could that be, Fable? <laughs> Oh, damn! Oh, no. It's exactly the group of Marines you're thinking of. Oh, yeah, they're doing this now. We are here to interrogate you with a sudden message. Who wrote the message? I don't know what you're talking about. Didn't you hear me? Who wrote the message? Excuse me, are you allowed to do this? Of course we are. <laughs> so you heard from the Bible? We are here to interrogate everyone on Terra. Who wrote the fucking message? <laughs> Where are the jeans? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, here it comes. <laughs> oh dear God, Judge Arrest. <laughs> from <laughs> Man. Welcome to the other companions of the, the other custodians. <laughs> Oh dear God. What the fuck? is what you inquisitors are doing here. Burning Terran, harassing its citizens. We are here because the message is supposedly sent from God Emperor himself, telling us the Inquisition is to be disbanded. Clearly, the message was written by a heretic, and we are going to find it. <laughs> Bullshit. 
message is from the Emperor, straight from the Sanctum Imperialis, within the Imperial Palace. He is the reason why we're outside the palace oh, in the first more place. Disconnected. So oh. you have no reason. Yeah. Oh no. I think she fell asleep. It's fine. It, this happens for her. Uh, it's a little early for her to be asleep. True. I think her either her phone died or uh, internet disconnected on her. Oh, poor Mori. Well, at least she's not a head of cabbage anymore, so Platy can't eat her. <laughs> but now she has to teach me all the secrets of Gordon Ramsay. Oh, <laughs> my God. One day I'll finally learn how to cook bacon without setting fire to my kitchen. Wait, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> Have you actually set fire to your kitchen while cooking bacon? No. no. <laughs> oh, my God. It's not even that hard. I got oil all over the fucking walls. How? <laughs> How much did you use? How did you get oil on the walls? Uh, how do you get oil stains off the wall without ruining the paint? Oh my this god. This is a question I've had for a little while now. Hey, y'all call me a bad cook. What the fuck? I never said anything about you being a cook. I just think you're goofy as hell. <laughs> uh, I'm oh, I mean, yeah, but... Where you just put a bunch of things in a pot. I love that. <laughs> I mean, true. remember that time that Maury said that I cooked the steak for, what, 14 minutes or something like that? Oh my god. Anyway. No, we... I was following the instructions from my dad, but his was mostly for, for being on a grill, not actually on a stove, so. Okay, well, we'll look through this and see how we go. Perform this heinous act upon our planet. You don't goof! That's impossible! You don't goof! You would die. If the Emperor was alive or war, we would know. You how would you know? Heretics. The gist of these are heretics! Oh my god. Let's back to Fyodor and tell him about this. <laughs> Fucking Grox has inquisitors. Wow. I'm now incredibly <laughs> aroused. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm incredibly aroused. Wow. Yeah, uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> trying to say the custodies are heretics is the, probably one of the dumbest things you could ever do, but yeah. Do it again. Now, where are the, the shorts? Are I won't... Corruptible, 